Okay, today we're gonna to be going through a little bit of the work that we're actually doing for today, which will be carpet lining and installing the roof, and lining the roof, putting a few lights into this vehicle. Uh, so for this, we're gonna show you step-by-step step how we do it, um, providing we remember to film it all. So here, this is quite an awkward van to carpet line just because it's a very small space that requires quite a lot of stretching to be able to do it. Um, so it's a great van to watch us struggle on. For this, we're going to need the carpet lining. We're also going to need some high temperature adhesive glue. And we'll also be using a fuel, a fuel, a fuel tools, a few tools uh, to get the job done. All right, first step is actually to measure the length of the carpet that you need, which will be, I have no idea, you tell me. 190 to there, so let's go 220. 210, 220, just add a little bit extra to ensure that we've got enough. We we'll give you a swizzle. Ta da! Pull. <laughs> Get I'll your coat, love, you pulled. <laughs> so, when carpet lining, start at the top, work your way down. Make sure you've removed things like the door seals, which we haven't. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so just leave it about 30 seconds. This is where you need the um, the countdown music. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna call that 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, all right, so we're gonna go on this fold here. So just to give you a closer look in here, what we've done is we've put it up to this ledge here. Uh, we haven't particularly glued this piece because it will be seen from this point once we put the roof in. And you see that follows that line all the way down. And we've glued you know, roughly 10, 15 centimeters here, which is enough for us to get a starting point. And then we can work our way down from there and then wrestle with the wheel arch, which is always the best bit. Uh, what you'll also notice is this one, because it did have rear seats, the lining in this is slightly different uh, to your normal caddy van. Um, but what we'll do is we will cut that out and just tuck it under. Anyway, we'll show you the next steps now. Okay, so now we're at this point. You'll see we've got the wheel arch in and we've done a little bit of trimming just so that we could tuck it in around the edges there. Uh, there's still a few bits that want tidying up, but next step really is to now start doing the cutting out. So around both those edges and all we'll do is run a blade along the edge and then tuck the seal in and that'll finish it off. And we also need to tuck in this bit up here. So we'll show you that now. Remind me, why does it take so long? Is it your fault? Where are you going? Oh, big stretches. 
now at the point where we've managed to carpet both sides. See, it's all in and so we've got all of these indents in here as well. We think little accents like this really help. Same with marking around where all the boards start and finish. So the next piece to be done is this top section here, which uh, tends to be one of the most awkward pieces because the aim is to try and make the join so that you can't see it at all, uh, which sometimes is easy to do on this one because it's at quite an angle uh, and you've got to follow this around all the way up here. It tends to be a little bit more difficult. Okay, so let's get the carpet out and find a straight edge. Which None of them. We have one straight edge. It's always a bonus. And all we're using here is an off cut from the bottom of another piece. Um, that way you can ensure that it's a perfect colour match. Uh, you tend to find actually from the start to the end of a roll of carpet, it does change. I want, the, I want it there. No, actually, I want it down there. <laughs> I want to get the top of this bit and right into the edge of the carpet without actually getting it all over the carpet. I've done that. Ooh! Feisty one you are. Okay, um, swim it like that. With a little bit of overhang. Okay, and then... Oh, that's a benefit actually that I've just thought of. Being the um, tailgate model, we haven't got the two bits that we have to cut around. Oh yeah. Which makes my life a little bit easier. Okay, so first step, which I should have changed my blade for, but here we are, is just cut off a fair amount of the excess. Yeah, really should have changed the blade. And uh, yeah, we'll just listen to Curtis changing the blade. Okay, so now I flipped you around this way and uh, yeah, obviously we, we cut out all of that bit in the middle where we were talking. And um, we are going to start by gluing this piece in here and up here. And then we're gonna to have to start cutting it in, which is the fun bit. So. Um, Took this up and we've got loads of excess. But I thought it was access. Oh, no. Excess, not access, behave. Next job is roof. Cables. Uh, next job, yeah, well done, thank you. Uh, to wire these cables in for the solar panel, and then we need to get the roof up, get the VW logo in, and start carpet lining the roof as well. LED light cables. For the spots. Put the solar panels in, uh, wire that in, put the cabling in, fit the spots. No, we want to carpet, then fit the spots. And get the VW logo in. Gonna do that before carpet. Whatever, you'll see. So we might have slightly forgotten to film this section, uh, but we've now got this in and the roof lining in um, and fitted the VW logo as requested by the customer. Uh, so the next step now is to carpet line the ceiling and then we'll start getting the lighting in.
Hi, so we might have slightly forgotten to film quite a lot. It's a new day, in case you couldn't tell, different hat, sure. Um, anyway, so we've got the roof lining up, we've done some of the electrics, fitted 240 volt and stuff like that. Um, so next job now is to fit our USB points uh, and wire all of that in and wire up the lights in the ceiling and we'll time lapse that and show it to you. Massive dust cloud, didn't it? Oh, lovely. <laughs> okay, it's finished. So here you'll notice it's been fully carpet lined. We've got the lights in, the VW logo. We've got 240 and a 12 volt hookup on this side. We've got 12 volt USBs on the other side. We've laid the flooring, carpet lined in this, as you've seen earlier in the video, can be quite a pain, um, but it's actually turned out really nice. So we'll show you on the other side. And then